Oh my goodness, you're not gonna believe what happened to me about a year ago. I don't wanna upset anybody here, but I went out with this guy three times and he stopped calling me. You're quiet because you're stunned too. <laughs> and it's just a few minutes. I don't have the time to indulge you all in the five stages of grief. At first I was really upset about it and then I realized, Sharice, he didn't call you because he's gay. What else could it be? <laughs> Any men here tonight that are unattracted to me, you're gay too. <laughs> And that's that. Would you believe in the last two years, oh, I've only dated gay men. If a guy doesn't call me within 24 hours, he's at least bisexual. Hey, hey, hey. I was, um, take it easy. I was also um, married. I was married. I don't mean to brag, but I was married. Two and a half years. Hello. Some applause, please. Thank you, thank you. That is a very long time if you break it down into half hour segments. <laughs> what a creep he was. You know what he could do? He could walk into a room and create colitis. <laughs> you know what he wanted me to do? He was so cheap. Before we got married, all he had was a beanbag chair and he wanted me to sign a prenuptial agreement. Is that crazy? What, are we gonna split the beans? I said, I will not sign a prenuptial agreement, Marty. How about a premenstrual agreement? <laughs>